Hello, I'm Delaney Kaipke. And I am Isaac Messer. And welcome to Rensselaer Bomber News TV. Businesses worldwide have suffered the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. Local businesses here have still struggled even two years after the start. Let's take a look at local business owner Mark Hurley and how he's adapted to the national labor shortage. You see the signs everywhere. Wanted. Now hiring. The recent national unemployment crisis has caused huge strains on communities all across this nation. Business owners are struggling to find solutions. Next, we're going to be interviewing Mark Hurley, a local business owner, on how he has provided solutions for his business and how it's helped him get through this crisis. Today, we have Mark Hurley with us, and he's going to talk to us about how the national unemployment crisis has affected his business. Hello, Mark. How are you? Good, thank you. So my first question is, uh, how has the unemployment crisis affected your business um, in the last few months? Um, it, it has been challenging. Uh, we have several trucks. It's been challenging filling all the seats of our trucks with quality drivers. Um, I know other other businesses, uh, trucking businesses, have had similar issues finding drivers. We have been able to hire some people recently um, and feel like we're in a pretty good spot as far as employees, um, more so than we were earlier this year. As a business owner that has been dealing with this national unemployment crisis, what are a few of the things that you have done to entice workers to stay um, and find good quality workers? Well, you have to make yourself visible. People have to know that you're looking. We recently moved our the location of our business to a, a visible location on a major highway. Um, we've done signage. We've done Facebook posts. Um, Try to set yourself apart a little bit. Great. Thank you for talking with us today about this. Thank you. This graph from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics shows the unemployment rates from 2002 to 2022. As you can see, the large spike on the right is from the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. At that time, unemployment rates reached over 14%. At this current moment in November 2022, though, rates have gone down to 3.7% almost matching that of pre-COVID unemployment rates. So, while this has been an ongoing crisis, it seems like it may be closing. It's been great getting to see how Mark has adjusted and adapted to the aftermath of the pandemic. Speaking of adjustment, Rensselaer is having a major makeover in its downtown area. We'll be sitting down with Stace Pickering as he gives us more information on the downtown renovations coming soon to Rensselaer and how they can help small businesses. Good morning, Bomber TV. Here we have Stace Pickering, who will be discussing the future renovations of Main Street in Rensselaer. Hi, Stace. Thank you for being here. Morning. How are you good doing? Morning. I'm doing good. How are you? Good. That's good. So what is your main role in the renovations of Rensselaer? Um, I've been involved with Main Street Rensselaer for about 15 years now. I am currently the treasurer for Main Street. What are some of the proposed plans for the renovations? There's basically two projects that are going on right now. One, there's the downtown brick streets, which is the two streets that are around the courthouse. Um, the city of Rensselaer is working on those. And the other project is Filson Park, which is over here around the corner, which is where the town mall used to be. Um, and that is being donated by the Filson family. And basically a art park is gonna be going into that, in that area. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yes. Uh, how will this uh, impact the economic growth of Rensselaer? Well, we're hoping twofold that the economic impact, um, immediate impact is people coming down here to see the art or coming down to visit the restaurants or the shops or the stores. Um, the long-term impact is getting more people to move to the community because it's a place you want to live. Right. Uh, and do you know when this will be done? Uh, the city is planning for the streets, the brick streets, to take a year, year and a half. Um, Philson Park and I brought some of them kind of ideas if you guys want to see them. Um, it's supposed to be done this year. There you have it, folks. Stay tuned for the future renovations of Rensselaer. Thank you for tuning in tonight to Bomber News TV. We'll see you next time.